Hi there, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite products from Target. I'm not literally doing all my favorite products that they sell at Target just because that would take way too long. So I just chose a few that really are my top, top favorites. Is there something that you've bought at Target that is really good that I need to try? If there is, please leave me a comment. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm gonna talk to you about is the Burt's Bees Hydrating Stick. This is something that I just stumbled across in Target. I hadn't heard anything about it, but I stumbled across it and I decided to try it and I love it. It smells, it smells so good. It smells so good. I, I It's made of, it's made with aloe water. So I believe that is what I'm smelling. I believe that's what I'm smelling. It smells so good though. It's Burt's Bees, so it is pretty natural. It does say 99% natural. Like I don't know what the other 1% is. And I really love it to use as a primer or just when I feel like my skin needs some extra hydration. It's so good to put on. I have never tried putting it over top of makeup. I only put it on if I don't have any makeup on. So I don't know how it would work if you already have makeup on, but if I did already have makeup on and I wanted to refresh my skin, I would probably just use a spray. But this is great for when you don't have any makeup on. So I love this. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about these two products together and you will see why. So it is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder. I use the pressed powder, but I know they do also make a loose powder of version of this. I love this powder so much. It is my favorite powder. Yep, it's my favorite. It is so, it's so good. I, I love putting it on like around my chin, my, my, my mouth, my nose, because it really prevents my makeup from breaking up. And that is like the area where it tends to break up the most. It's pretty natural. It's not very thick. It doesn't settle into like my under eye creases. And I also love baking with this. Like I said, I do use the pressed powder, but I am still able to bake with it, which is really great. You know, I should probably try the loose powder though. We shall see. But the foundation is amazing. I mean, the Maybelline Matte and Portless is incredible. I am somebody who has very, very dry skin and I never thought I would be comfortable using a matte foundation, but this foundation does not look dry on me. I will say that I normally use a hydrating primer underneath this foundation just, you know, to make sure it doesn't look dry on me. All I need is a hydrating primer and this foundation and it does not look dry. This foundation makes my skin look so smooth. It doesn't settle into any of my fine lines. Like I, I have like some little wrinkles right here that sometimes um, foundations will settle into, but this one does not. Mealy Mountain Poreless Foundation and translucent pressed powder, Mwah. chef's kiss, they are great. Next, I'm going to talk to you about the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Ooh. You all have probably heard of this before because it is so talked about on the internet and that is for good reason. It is so, so good. First of all, yeah, it, oh, it smells like a pina colada. It literally smells like a pina colada. It makes me feel like I'm on the beach every time I put it on. So that is just, that's just an added bonus. That's not why I like it. But the main reason why I like this is because even though I am very, very fair, this is a bronzer that looks good on me. It's not too dark. It's not too warm. You know, I don't like when a bronzer, when a bronzer looks orange on me, I look crazy. And this never looks orange on me. It is the perfect bronzer to contour with because it has really nice undertones and it is matte. So I love contouring with this bronzer. I will also use it like all over my face, but I do love contouring with it. It is, it is great. It is great. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Wow, I only have two more things to talk about. Next, I'm going to talk to you about a mascara that I absolutely love. And if you have ever asked me, for a mascara recommendation. I probably recommended this to you. I have literally recommended it to so many people. I know for a fact I recommended it to my grandma and she, she started using it and loved it. So this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I use the shade Blackest Black. I just 
it's the darkest color and I just like my eyelashes to look super dark. I think they do make this in a waterproof version but I do not have the waterproof version. This mascara is amazing. It makes your eyelashes look so long. Like this is the mascara you want if you want your eyelashes to look long. The wand on this mascara is so nice. It is, it is, I don't know what, what technology it's made out of, but it does, the mascara does not clump on the wand. And because of that, when you put it on, it does not clump on your eyelashes. It's like, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> So I love that about this and I also love how when I do put it on it also makes me feel like my eyelashes are being curled a little bit for some reason like I I don't know how it does it I think it, something about the wand in this mascara is just incredible so I love this mascara and I highly 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 uh, highly recommend it um I think this is my last product to talk to you about this is by the brand Kai or Ka Ka Kai -E. Kai, Kai, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it is their matte lip cream. Um, I just stumbled upon this at Target. I had never heard of this brand. When I see a brand that I've never heard of before, I like to just find one product of theirs and try it. So I decided to try their matte lip cream and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. It also has a really good smell. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a mix of what, it's like watermelon and bubble gum if that makes any sense. It's like a mix of watermelon and bubblegum. I don't know. And I love that about it. So it is like a beautiful, it's a beautiful pink. It's pretty natural. It's basically the same shade as my regular lip color, except it's a little darker and a little more pink, which is, I, I love that as like an everyday lipstick kind of thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a swatch. I hope the camera picks it up I'm not really sure but that is what it looks like it is like I said it's kind of like a darker pink um it is just a beautiful 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 shade and I love the way it feels on my lips because it is a lip cream rather than a liquid lipstick so it doesn't feel as drying as some of those other products do so it feels very comfortable on your lips it doesn't last as long as some of the liquid lipsticks I have do but it does I mean it, it does a really good job it really only comes off if I eat so I mean that's expected so yeah those are my top products from Target that was how many one two three four five six wait one two three four five six looks like it was six products to me so my top six products that you can get at Target I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned before, if there are any makeup products that you have bought from Target and that you really like, please leave me a comment because I am always looking for new makeup to try, especially from Target because that place is heaven for me. <laughs> Love going in there and just to buy makeup. I hope you enjoyed learning about my top products from Target. Um, let me know if there are other like variations of top products that you would like to see me do in the future and that's it all right well i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye